Yeah, I don't know. I mean, cathartic. A little bit. I mean, it's a little much, you know. Um, but um, it's definitely a feel-good win, you know. Um, you know, I go back to that game right before Christmas, Mike, when we, we, we lost that lead to Charlotte. And what I loved about our group is that we, we answered and we won three in a row at L.A., at Golden State, at Houston. Um, you know, our guys aren't trying to blow leads. We're not trying to lose games, you know. Did we play our best in the second half? Of course not, you know. But, you know, tonight, uh, regardless of who we were playing, who was out, I, I just thought we played the right way the whole night. 35 assists is a great number. Um, you know, I thought Faku off the bench, 18 and 12. Uh, uh, Bones Highland, I was so proud of him. We met and talked today, and he went out there and did all the things that we talked about, you know, uh, playing basketball, not only for himself, but for his teammates, getting guys involved, driving and kicking, competing on the defensive end, fighting. Uh, our, our bench was terrific tonight. Um, 21 made threes. I think 10 of those were in the fourth quarter, and they were generated off of ball movement, you know, guys making a play for somebody. So uh, I think everybody who's a Nuggets fan was probably – uh, wondering when we got up big, when the collapse was going to happen, and give our guys credit. You know, we won every quarter, and we won the second half, I believe, for the first time since our game at New York in early December. So uh, this was one of our more consistent 48-minute games that we've played probably all season. Yeah, you know, I um, on the flight home yesterday and even last night, you know, it's amazing how much, you know, th this job consumes you and you're always thinking about uh, your team. You're always thinking about your players, at least I am. And, um, you know, I'm looking at our stats in the last eight games, and I, I know Bones is not a 26% shooter from the field. He's not a 16% shooter from the three-point line. Uh, and I know he's a better defender, more capable defender than he's shown. And so I told him, I said, listen, let's get together after shoot around to sit down and talk. You know, uh, I want to talk, you know, uh, and, and talk about what I see. I want you to tell me what you're thinking. Uh, and most importantly, how can I help you? You know, I mean, I'm putting myself in his shoes, you know, like uh, an empathetic towards a young man because he's a lot on his plate. And, uh, you know, the conversation was simply, I think lately he's been out there and just thinking score, which has led to him taking some really tough shots, bad shots at times. And that's why his percentages are so low. Um, I said, you got to get back to using your speed and quickness to get downhill on attack, to make plays for your teammates. Um, and then when the ball finds you, shoot the ball if you're open. If not, get off of it. And on defense, you have to make sure that, you know, teams are going at you. They're calling ATO plays and they're going at you. You cannot ever earn a reputation of being that guy. That's not who you are. You're a tough kid who's been through a lot from Wilmington. And you got to bring that onto the court. And I thought he showed that tonight in different examples. So, um, you know, he had 16 points. Uh, he had, I think, uh, a couple of rebounds, three assists. So he did a lot of really good things for us. So just keep it simple. Make a play for somebody. The ball will find you back and play the right way in defense as well. Uh, I thought Zeke Najee was great. You know, he got defensive player of the game, uh, you know, 16 and nine, shot the ball well. Um, being really disciplined, playing with great confidence. You know, we scored 66 off the bench, and uh, you know, it was fun to watch those guys play extended minutes in that second half. Oh, really important. You know, um, there are times where he's out there with Jeff, and we'll have Jeff as our roller, if you will, and there are times where we're having Zeke as our roller. Um, and you can tell when you watch Zeke, he's really put so much time into his three-point shot. He's shooting it well from the three. Um, but he's got to also be able to mix in rolling and finish around the basket, to your point. Uh, and I thought lately, I think lately, he's had some really good examples of not only catching in traffic, but finishing in traffic. And as a big, you have to be able to do that. Um, now the next step for him is when he gets fouled. He, if he's that good of a three-point shooter, he's got to become a much more of a knockdown free throw shooter. And he's not shooting the percentage that he should be from the free throw line. But, uh, you know, I think after everybody watched Zeke in Summer League, everybody was like, wow, what happened to Zeke? But I think no one panicked. He didn't panic. I didn't panic. We talked about it. And he's just stayed the course. And, and hard work pays off. And I, I think with all the injuries, he's getting an opportunity to play. And again, 16 and 9 in 21 minutes tonight. Uh, and very efficiently, uh, mind you, uh, is a terrific night for a young Zeke Najee.
Yeah, I, I think uh, it was a scary moment, obviously, when he, he got off balance on that drive. Uh, and as he fell, uh, nothing dirty, nothing malicious. It was just an unfortunate play. As he fell, his head hit Nurk's knee. Uh, and we all know Nurk has a big knee. Um, so it was very scary. And somebody gets hit in the head like that. We took him in the back. The doctors cleared him. So he, he's OK. Um, you know, thank goodness that's more important than anything. Uh, and for him to miss a game, be deemed a positive, next day be deemed a negative, back with the team. Uh, the yo-yo of this season continues, but um, I think he had a great night, 21, as you mentioned, shot the ball extremely well from the field, 7 of 12 from the field, 4 of 6 from 3. Uh, but I think a peak Will Barton game is when he is getting 7 or 8 rebounds and is getting 5 or 6 assists. And those are numbers that are you know, readily attainable for him. You know, uh, he, he has that kind of versatile talent and ability to impact the game with scoring, playmaking, defense, and rebounding. But uh, it was terrific having him back in the lineup. Uh, the consistency in which we played. You know, uh, that has been a real issue for us this whole year, Ryan. Um, we have had great stretches. Uh, you can look at it. I was talking with Stan Van Gundy before the game. You know, we blew a 25-point lead in the second half. You know, the optimist, which I am not, would say, well, that's pretty great that we were up by 25 in the second half against the Clippers on the road. Um, and that we've built all these big leads that we've had a hard time holding on to. But um, if we could take one thing from this game, I thought the defense was really good. The rebounding, uh, we won the rebound battle. The assist numbers were great. But just the consistency to win every quarter and to win the second half. I mean, when I found out we had not won a second half since our game at the Garden, I couldn't believe that. Um, and so for us to do that for four quarters tonight, uh, that's always your goal, to play as close to 48 minutes as possible. And tonight we did it. And we know that we have some talented teams coming in here, coming up. Got the Lakers, got the Jazz, got the Clippers. Uh, and then whoever else after that. So it's always great to start off a homestand with the win. And now we have to get, uh, you know, get ready for the Lakers coming in here in a few days. Thanks, everybody.